welcome back to the Morning Blend with our continuing series, All That Sparkles with Kessler's Diamonds. Well, a few weeks ago, Richard Kessler of Kessler's Diamonds was here and he was going to tell us, and he did tell us all about a charitable cause that means so much to him, and that's ABCD, or After Breast Cancer Diagnosis. Yeah, Ellen Freebert Shupper is the executive director of ABCD. She's back again with us, along with Jody Zantone. She's a breast cancer survivor who used their services and is now giving back to others. Great to see Thanks you, Thanks for being Hi, here. Thank, Thank you today. so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit um, about ABCD. ABCD and, and your personal story, if you would share it with sure. us. Well, I was diagnosed back in 2007, so I've been a survivor for 11 years. And um, I just went in for a routine mammogram, and uh, they found something they didn't like. And it took almost a month to get to a final diagnosis. And um, I was uh, diagnosed with stage one um, lobular breast cancer. Okay, I just want to say, yeah. not to get on a soapbox or anything, but this gets to the point of how important mammograms, yeah, mammograms are. are. Oh, I just want to say this, because your cancer was found in a right. routine mammogram. It was stage one, yep. and I want everybody to hear that, because if you go in yeah. and it's caught early, mm -hmm. obviously the prognosis yeah. is very good. You Excellent. look great. Thank You're you. an 11 year survivor, Congrats. so I hope people, that's impressed upon yeah. people yeah. today. I always yeah. tell people, don't, even though it's a little uncomfortable, go in and have it done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then how did you find ABCD? Well, they give you a lot of information when you're diagnosed. And um, I had a pamphlet from ABCD. And I, it, you know, it appealed to me because it was um, talking with somebody who had gone through the same thing as I had gone through. And it's a scary time. And so I... Um, called in and they matched me with a mentor that had a similar diagnosis to mine. And you know, you're waiting for quite a while before you know what your diagnosis is going to be. And so I was able to ask my uh, mentor some questions that made me more reassured. Mm -hmm. That's great. And now you're a mentor yourself. I am, I am. I <laughs> participated uh, in mentor training in March. I retired last October. And so this gives me a little bit more time to do things that I really want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the training is online. It just takes a week. And you, um, you know, you're, you're with people that have gone through similar situations. And uh, um, so that makes it even more special that you can relate yeah, to. It's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. That yeah. training is really important, right? It is. It is. It's really the, um, the foundation of the services that we provide because we know that not everyone can be a mentor. Not everyone is ready or yeah. has the personality and the and the willingness to do what, what our mentors do, which is provide hope and confidence and also answer questions that sometimes you just don't want to talk about with your doctor and or your very caring spouse or your very supportive daughter. Yeah. You just Sometimes you just want to be able to talk to someone who really understands what it's like, been like, or we say, who has been in your shoes who, yeah. and has survived. So, yeah. yeah. I think that's probably so motivating and helpful to so yes. many people in, in a similar position. How did you then get connected with Richard Kessler? How did that happen? Well, Richard Kessler's been connected to ABCD since 2003. Um, he was always, a, he says he was a big fan of Melody Wilson Oldenburg, yeah, who was our right. founder. And um, he was always inspired by the work that she had, she had been doing with ABCD since 1999. And since he serves women and we serve women, together they created this wonderful partnership that's just had various shapes and stages throughout um, its existence. And right now we're, so thrilled to be working with him in um, in um, sharing these beautiful survivor pendants. It looks gorgeous on you, by the way. Yeah, it's exactly. like today. It's beautiful. It is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I wear it very proudly. So there's a pendant. That's what it looks like in the silver. Mm -hmm. um, there's also um, gold, right? right? So there's rose gold. There's yellow gold, white gold, rose gold, and sterling silver, and. They're available in all of his stores, all the Kessler's locations, um, and 100% of the net proceeds goes to ABCD. And it's year round. A lot of people yeah. know that October is Breast Cancer Correct. Awareness Month, but they're not just available right. now and in October, they're available year round in all stores. Yeah, yeah. what does it mean to you? Oh gosh, it, uh, it means hope and uh, that there's always, I always tell people that I mentor um, that the medicine's always improving and that, you know, to be hopeful and, yeah. you know, to be courageous 
and uh, to call your mentor if you need any help. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Wonderful. And so what a great uh, memento to give someone who's either a survivor or going through the process now. Kesslersdiamonds.com is where you can learn more about the breast cancer pendant as well. 100% of those proceeds go to ABCD. If you or someone you know would like to connect with a mentor or ABCD after breast cancer diagnosis, here's the information on your screen. It's 1-800-977-1780 or ABCD Breast Cancer Support. Dot org. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank you. Thank you so nice much. Nice to see you, ladies. Yeah. Thank you. Great Thank message. You so much. Bye. Thanks.